Hello, uh, we have our workout today of a 10 minute AMRAP and it's going to be 10 power cleans and 10 burpees. Um, the goal here is to be able to get uh, about 10 rounds. So if you think of it as an EMOM, meaning do your 10 power cleans, 10 burpees inside of one minute, then you can take a little bit of a break until the next minute and you should be able to get 10 rounds if you plan it out that way. I know it's easier said than done, um, but that's what I'm gonna try to go for. I may or may not get there, um, but that's our workout for today, a 10 minute AMRAP of 10 power cleans and 10 burpees. For our warm up, I'm going to have us doing 30 seconds of movement so that uh, there aren't any people trying to catch up with my speed for warm up. Um, I know sometimes I go a little bit fast, sometimes I might be a little bit slower than you. So we're gonna about have about 30 seconds per movement. If you um, feel like you've done a lot of that movement and you wanna move on, by all means move on as long as your body is starting to get warm in those movements. So I'm gonna start us off with some jumping jacks and I'm going to put the timer on. We got 30 seconds of jumping jacks. Take it nice and slow. You're just starting to warm your body up. There should be about 20 jumping jacks or so I hope. Oh, we're just warming our bodies up. The next movement in about 10 seconds is going to be air squats. Okay, let's slow it down for some air squats. Take that time to warm yourself up. Get a pause at the bottom if you need. Squeeze your butt at the top. After your air squats, we're gonna go for some bootstraps. I'll probably change the angle. Let's move into some bootstraps. So grab your feet, pull yourself down, drive back up and stretching your hamstring. Get a stretch in your groin. We're going back to jumping jacks after this. Back to some jumping jacks. Samson's after this. Okay, slowing it down for some Samson's. Reach up and back, get a stretch in that hip flexor. I'm just gonna stay here and switch. Stretch your hip, reach up and back. Get a subtle stretch there, don't need to push it. We're gonna switch over to Spider-Man in about three seconds. Take step to your foot or hand and then turn towards that knee. Again, we're doing very subtle stretching here. Trying to warm up our bodies. Doesn't have to be super fast. And get yourself even. After this, we're going to scorpions. Let's lay 
down onto the ground. Arms in a T. Wow. I just shocked myself. Arms in a T. Reach for a chest stretch. Reach to the other side. Stretch it out, stretch it out. back in. We're going to repeat this one more time. Once we finish up our inchworms, go back to our jumping jacks. We're going air squats after. I know I chop off my head at the top, but you all know what I look like. We're gonna warm up our legs for some thrusters. I'm getting toasty. I hope you are too. We got bootstraps after this. And then we're going back to jumping jacks. And then after Spider-Man, we're going back to our jumping jacks. Even yourself out. And then let's go back to jumping jacks. Even there, we're gonna end with 
inchworms. This time, I had a push up in there. Walk yourself up. I had a push up. Then walk yourself back in. This first part of our warm up, grab yourself a single dumbbell and we'll do our dumbbell warm up. For our dumbbell, a dumbbell portion of the warm up, we're gonna start with five dumbbell deadlifts. Stand and squeeze your butt. We're gonna need to make sure your butt is awake for some thrusters later. some strict presses. And then we're gonna go to some halos. When I say some, I mean five. Five each then. And then let's switch over to some bent over rows. So that deadlift position and then row. for some swings, hard up to eye level, squeeze your butt, push to the other side, big squeeze of the butt so we don't feel anything in our back, and then end with five goblet squats. should be ready to start setting up for our workout. Okay, things I'm looking for on your power clean is that if you're doing a barbell, it just comes from the ground. If you're doing from with a dumbbell, also comes from the ground. Um, but I want to make sure that we're not rounding our back. So if you have a barbell, you're not here rounded, you want to still stay uh, flat back. If you have dumbbells, same thing. When you're reaching down, try not to round that upper back. Make sure your back is nice and flat here. Um, and then as you're coming up, you can either jump and extend your hips, or you could just squeeze your butt like you're um, doing a kettlebell swing. So you can either come up nice and quick, squeeze your butt, bring the weight to your shoulders, or you can jump and stand. You have those options for your power cleans. Um, the main thing to remember is that when you're going down, that you're not all of a sudden getting loose here. We wanna make sure that as you go down, you still keep that alignment in your back so that you don't start to feel the weight in your low back. Um, burpees, you wanna take them at a good pace. So I usually breathe out at the bottom, breathe out at the top. It doesn't have to be super fast. You can find a pace in your burpees where you can stay consistently moving uh, without losing your breath. So I think that's all I have to say in terms of these two movements and let's get going. So I'm going to correct that introduction. Um, as you can see, super sweaty. So I finished the workout, uh, did not accomplish it as an EMOM. The first round got to uh, the first round in about a minute, but then wasn't able to keep that up. 
So I stand corrected. Um, still keep moving inside the 10 minutes. Do your 10 power cleans, do your 10 burpees, and then um, move into your next round with a little bit of a break and try to stay consistent. Oh, uh, one more thing I want to add about your power cleans is that whether you're on barbell or dumbbell, be careful of this. Be careful of your shoulders slumping forward and then you're gonna feel it all in your traps, especially because you're doing a lot of power cleans. Um, the, the thought is that sometimes we're just trying to use whatever effort we can and so the shoulders start to come forward, but make sure you keep these lats pulled back so that you can use these muscles to keep that bar close to you versus these muscles to shrug into it. Yes, I know there is a shrug, but the shrug is back not into your ears. That's where you're gonna to start to feel all this tension in your traps and we don't wanna feel that because already, I'm sure the stresses throughout the day already give you tight enough shoulders. So pull the shoulders back and then when you come up, your shoulders will be in the right place versus swinging back and forth. Uh, just enough, another thing to add. So again, we have our 10 minute AMRAP of 10 power cleans, 10 burpees. Um, if you would like to get to 10 rounds, try it as an imam. If you just want to keep moving inside your 10 minutes, do that too. Let's get going. Five second countdown. not able to keep it as an imam but let's keep going
more than halfway. Three minutes. Then they have. sure if I got seven or eight. I'll have to go back and watch this video. But I ended up 
with three power cleans at the end. Please make sure you put your scores in. And oh, how's it going? Uh, we'll go to strength next. For the strength portion today, we're gonna be doing some upper body shoulders and uh, triceps and more shoulders. Uh, oh, and upper back. So we have three to four sets. I think I have time enough for four today on this video. Uh, we're gonna be doing 10 tempo bent over rows. Then we have 15 tricep dips and then we have 10 front raises. The tricep dips, I'll show a variation to make it easier and to also make it harder. Uh, bent over rows, you wanna make sure that you're squeezing that upper back and then it's a slow release. So don't let yourself round and don't let yourself shrug in. We wanna uh, squeeze that upper back. So on that tempo, dive on over, and then tempo up, squeeze, and then tempo down. To keep this bent over position, make sure you're still squeezing your butt. In case you're wondering, I'm using 10 pounders because it is tempo, it's a little bit harder. Um, I have this chair over here for our tricep dips. So easier variation, get your feet at a, get your legs at a 90 degree. For a harder variation, stick your legs straight out. Tricep dips, try to get yourself at a 90 degree angle with your elbow to your shoulder. And if you feel yourself going really far back and you start to feel this in your shoulder too much, get yourself a little bit closer so your butt stays close to uh, whatever surface you're pushing off of. I'm gonna attempt my front raises with these 10 pounders. We'll see how I do. So with your front raises, remember, try not to throw your body into it. Really try to concentrate on using the, the front of your shoulders, your uh, anterior delts. So squeeze that lower body and lift straight up. Squeezing your core really helps too, so that you don't lean back. shake my arms out and then we'll go into our next set if you want to you can go straight into it um i wish i got my shoulders a little bit
was round two for me. If you're moving faster, that's perfectly fine. Shoulders back so that you don't start to feel this in your traps. Come on, keep it on the shoulder. When you're lifting for the front raise, make sure that you're not tensing off your neck. We don't want to feel any tightness around your neck or your shoulders. So if you do need to take a little bit longer of a break so that you can feel that coming from your shoulder, do that, but try not to tense up around the neck. for me.
Hope you're feeling swell. I'm feeling pretty swell right now. And that is our strength and our workout for today. Um, hope you had a good time. I know I did. Bye.